Jeff Blankman talking here today with the Audubon Boys Shuttle Hurdle as they just took fourth place here at the state tournament. Let's talk with that Jackson Jensen who led things off here today. Jackson, how did you feel coming out of the blocks? Uh, I felt really good actually coming out of the blocks. Felt like out of my first two hurdles pretty good. Uh, and, uh, two seconds uh, here in two A. I think we were in three and four and uh, Jessup, so West Lyon, 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 guys are fast. I was just Jessup trying to jump up, up and well get the rest of my team a chance. Jessup, Jessup, Lake Mills. Tyler, tell me what this is. Uh, Jessup, 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 Lake Mills, West Lyon, and Davis County. Four years and collect four medals. Uh, it's amazing, you know, Audubon's, we've had hurdlers that go way back, you know, like ever since I was in uh, middle school, you know, that's something I've been wanting to do, and uh, to yes, step uh, in as a freshman and be a part of this for four years, it's, Lake it's Lake special, Lake and to Lake say, Nolan and I could say we've had a top four finish four years in a row, you know, so it's something there special, I'll look back on for sure. Tyler, Tyler, you said that you felt better than you did in previous uh, You know, I didn't feel like I hit a wall through 8, 9, 10 today like I did in the prelims. And uh, I thought maybe I was a step late out of the box, but other than that, I feel like I held my own for a little while. And I felt like I finished a lot stronger than I did in the prelims. Let's talk now with Skyler Schultz ran that third leg. Skyler, how did you feel here today? Uh, well, today I felt like I got out of the blocks off the break a lot better than I did on in prelims. And then once I got out, I got in rhythm and I could I could see the guy on the inside the ahead of me and I was just, just going to catch him. How clean a race did you have this year? Uh, it, was, it was one of my better of the year. Didn't clip any hurdles and my steps were pretty consistent throughout and I just got in a good rhythm. I know you guys asked if there was anybody that got, you know, yellow flagged in here. How much does that weigh on your guys' mind with as many yellows as we've had this year? I mean, we were coming into the day, we were discussing with each other how slow we were getting out of getting out of the break so we said push it a little bit but make sure we're safe and don't get ourselves the yellow flag all right nolan smith ran that anchor leg nolan looked strong today yeah, i think that's the strongest i've seen you look yeah. how'd you feel uh, that one felt better than it has all year obviously to finally be back i don't know just something about this saturday feeling you get when you're in a finals race you know you got a chance to win that you're going to go out get some more adrenaline and go compete how was the stamina? Really, really, really good today. A lot better than Thursday in, in districts. So yeah, I thought I finished a lot better. You know, it's all about getting in a groove early and those first two hurdles are so important and I hit my first two about as perfect as I could and it was just, I was in a groove after that. And you know, that was obviously my best race so I'm happy with it. We ran sub one, which was our goal. Took home fourth place, so um, always uh, four years and we were top four all four times. You know, can't complain about that too much. It, yeah. How's that time compared to some of the other times? Is that uh, the top time of the year then? Oh yeah, it's top yeah. time of our year this year for sure. I'm probably second fastest that me and Tyler have been a part of in four years. We were only like three tenths off of that school record, which is what we were chasing coming into today. But to run sub one was our was a big goal for us, especially being Tyler's second run and my third or fourth run. To go sub one just really kind of shows that. Uh, you know, if we would have been healthy, how, how dangerous we really could have been. What's it about hurdles in Audubon, huh? Uh, it's something <laughs> special. There's no doubt about that. Coach Clark has done some amazing work. We're gonna ho we're hoping he's gonna be around as long as he can. I think I heard Tyler talking about it earlier. It's just something that the junior high kids, the middle schoolers, they see the success. They want to be a part of that. They're in there training. You look down at the track some nights, and there's kids down there running hurdles. Not that, not that they're wanting to compete or anything. They're just doing it for fun because. You know, they know someday maybe that they, yeah, they'll get a chance to come down to state and, and compete for a title like we've got the, the opportunity to do four times now. Liberty leading off with Michael. Yeah.